Hello friends, welcome to Dial Android YouTube channel. Today we are going to review simplistic ICS ROMs of Samsung Galaxy S2. This ROM is really simple to use, fast and stable. So to start my review, I'll uh, start with the boot to show you the boot animation. This is the uh, power of menu button which you can customize. I'll tell you how in the later part of the video. So by the time it's rebooting, let me tell you how to install this ROM. To install this RAM, your phone should be rooted and clock on mod recovery installed prefer and you should be on a ICS ROM. Then just head over to the Legend K95 XTA thread who is the developer of this ROM, thanks to him and download the zip file, save it to your internal SD card and then first wipe data, cache and just flash this zip file. It's common for all, almost all the custom ROMs. So after the first boot, I have already done the initial setup. You will see this boot animation, very beautiful one. Uh, one more thing, this ROM is based on CR kernel, so you will have all those features of CR kernel uh, with, with this ROM, its latest version. Now uh, you can see this lock screen, it's, uh, it's having this ripple effect from Galaxy S3. So as I told, it's, uh, there are few features in it uh, which are from Galaxy S3 or Galaxy Note. So we'll review that in our video. Uh, I have configured Wi-Fi. I checked out 3G, Bluetooth. Everything is working fine. So no need to show you that. You can see already the Wi-Fi icon and uh, network. Everything is working. First, let me show you the version. Uh, it's based on ice cream sandwich. It's a simplistic I uh, the four version based on the base band of LQ6. So uh, the main speciality of this ROM, I'll start with that only. In the settings menu, you will have this really beautiful feature, simplistic control. In this simplistic control, uh, as its name says, it's really simple to control some of the tweaks and options uh, for the customization of your phone. Um, I'll start with the first one. Like if you go to the phone, you can have this simple option enabled or disabled as per your need, like begin call photo. Uh, the lock screen, which is speciality of this ROM, uh, you can have the original lock screen or you, you can have the torch enabled on your lock screen by pressing the home button and so many options like uh, you want to ripple lock or not, you want to enable this information ticker which was available in Galaxy S3. So these options are really easy to use, no, no need to explain them, just go ahead, explore it and use it as per your need. Similarly, the power menu option, you can have, uh, like I showed you in the start of the video, you can configure which, which all the options you want in this power menu, you can set it, set it up here. Similarly, the battery, like I like this circle mod, if you want the percentage, you can have this. And the battery life is amazing, you don't have to worry about it, it's working perfectly fine. The performance can be managed here. Uh, like the maximum CPU frequency, the minimum CPU frequency. So all these things are really easy to use, nothing to explain in there. Uh, the other thing which is good and beautiful, like uh, if you go to the gallery, uh, this is the normal view, but if you click on this thumbnail, you have this uh, 3D view, which is uh, uh, taken from Node, I guess, but it looks really beautiful. Now, the other thing is the camera, it's having some mod. If you click on the camera, you can take picture using this volume up and down button. So I'll show you how. Here you go. So it's working fine. Video recording, everything works perfectly smooth. Nothing to worry about it. Uh, the other thing is uh, this brightness bar. You can set it up in the same simplistic menu. You have different, around 12 toggles I have enabled and the battery bar. All these things are available in simplistic ROM settings menu. So apart from this, this ROM is really fast. You can see there is no lag. It's super fast. Nothing like you can see a lag on the home screen or something. Just superb. Okay, now uh, one more thing which I want to tell you is uh, the lock screen function like uh, if you are running music and like I have the Samsung default tone. So you can have, uh, you can see these controls, music controls in the lock screen here, which is not there in S3, of course S2 is having those. So this is good and uh, you can have these shortcuts enabled on the bottom of the lock screen. Uh, 
like you see in the S3 in, from the same settings menu. So overall it's a really good ROM to use in daily and it's really good backup and moreover you have more free ROMs available, more customization option all with your default stock ICS theme. So it's very good for the people who like those touchwiz interfaces. Uh, one more thing which I forgot, yes, the call recording and SIP calling. Uh, the call recording is uh, uh, enabled in this custom ROM. You can see this record button. Once it gets connected, you can enable it and just call gets recorded. And the SIP calling is enabled. You have to set up your SIP profile and then you can make SIP calls. Market, everything works. Uh, nothing to worry. I've not seen any force closes. So it's a go ahead ROM. And soon we are going to publish a video review of complete S3 theme for this particular simplistic ROM made by Rushpa. So stay tuned, keep watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching guys.